Good afternoon. I'm Chad Stevens from the Institute of International Studies, and thank you for coming today. The Spain semester is just about halfway over, if you can believe that. Out of about 40 events, I think uh, we have reached the halfway point, and so I'm pleased to introduce to you another one of our faculty members today, Dr. Susanna Liso, Assistant Professor of Spanish, who has been at Missouri Southern for four years now. Dr. Liso is from Spain, from Pamplona, in the extreme northern portion of Spain, near the French border. That's where they have the Running of the Bulls Festival every summer. I don't know if she's done that or not. Uh, she's shaking her head no, uh, but she's going to be talking more about Madrid today than her hometown. Dr. Liso received her undergraduate degree at her hometown university in Pamplona and then went to the United States for her master's and PhD at the Ohio State University. So please join me today in welcoming Dr. Susanna Liso. Chad, uh, good morning, I would say good afternoon, everybody. And um, today we are going to talk about something that when you think about the Spain, you may not think about that. And um, we are going to talk about La Movida. Let's see. Oops. Let's go here. La Movida was a very peculiar movement from Spain, from a peculiar uh, historical period. And I am going to give you a historical introduction because otherwise you don't understand why Movida happened. Uh, the title of the presentation is The Madrillian Scene, but everybody knows it as La Movida. So um, the first thing we want, uh, I want to uh, let you know that we are going to see what was La Movida, when it happened, where it happened, why, and who took place. Uh, if you go to El Diccionario de la Real Academia de la Lengua Española, it's like a, a Webster, a Mary Webster dictionary, says that Movida is juerga, diversión. Basically, it's related with fun. Although you may have uh, 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 connected Movida with move. Move in the sense that you party, you move, you shake your body, okay? Um, la Movida, to understand La Movida, we have to go back to November 20th, 1974, when uh, Spaniards woke up and heard this news. Okay, wait a moment. Franco. I don't know who Español. Is. Franco ha muerto. So basically, Franco has died. Franco was a person who was in, in power for more than uh, 35 years. And Spain went through a dictator. Uh, we suffered a dictatorship. Two days after Franco died, we had a new king uh, who, was, uh, hand, uh, who was chosen by Franco. And Franco, under Franco's control, Spain was an extremely conservative and traditional society. Catholic church and government worked together and uh, they determined what was appropriate, not appropriate on uh, what was morally appropriate or not, how a good wife should behave, such as, and this is, um, there are certain, uh, um, there was a kind of manual, how to become a good wife. And the things that you could read, you could read there is like, when your hus husband reached home, help him to remove his shoes. Okay, this type of things like, okay, or, if you have problems, your problems are trivial comparing to your husband's problems. These are the type of uh, society Spain uh, was in more than 35 years. Women were considered the angel of the house. 
um, the perfect wife should be invisible, basically. No freedom of press, no freedom of speech, a strong censorship, um, and that caused that many people left the country because of uh, this repression. No official, uh, there were official parties, but they, they, it was a joke, okay? So there were no uh, uh, democratic elections. There was a strong uh, 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 police network, so everybody was watched out. Big Brother was very big, and the economy was not very good, although the tourism helped us in the 60s. Spain was identified with sun. All the people from Sweden, from Germany, just went to Spain to be exposed to the sun <laughs> and have fun, and it was cheap. And connected to that, uh, also, there were a huge migration within Spain, and uh, from the rural areas to the urban uh, centers, and also many people left the country because the economy was bad. Many people uh, went to England, Belgium, France, Switzerland, etc. So these are the typical uh, images of Franco under uh, Spain under Franco's control. Here you have Franco entering the church. These are the type of uh, festivals you may have. The typical uh, Spanish family, they were, by the way, the families were big in, uh, at that time. To have five kids was not uncommon. And then you move up to, up to 12 kids. No birth control, no divorce. So these are the TV programs of the time. Queen for a day. And these are the girls at the beach. And this was a popular actress at the time, Marisol. This is the uh, image uh, the government wanted to show to the, the public. And uh, the type of music, uh, this, uh, the main, mainstream music included, you may no, not recognize this, but this is Julio Iglesias, Enrique Iglesias' father. Um, this is Mocedades, Karina. So there, these, are the, these people, uh, usually play ba uh, sings ballads, romantic music, no problems at all. However, the, after Franco's, uh, there were, as I mentioned, the end of the dictatorship and things start changing. In uh, 1976, since the economy was not very good, and uh, we had the first general strike. In 77, the first democratic elections. And uh, the, for uh, the first time after 35 years, the Communist Party was legalized. Um, the communism was banded uh, after the Civil War. Spain got a new constitution, which was voted by the whole country. I think 95% uh, agrees, uh, accepted the constitution. And in 1997, Enrique Tierno Galván, who was a socialist, became the major of uh, Madrid. I don't know if you see that, but in Spain at that time, people ex started uh, uh, exposing their body, okay? So you can see here the um, major of Madrid with a lady who was uh, a porn star, basically giving a award, and the lady has her breast exposed. Mm? A dysfunctional uh, wardrobe, okay? This is what. And the major of Madrid, once uh, before the start of a concert, said, rockers, let's get high, means drugs, and let's have fun. That was the spirit of Spain after 35 years of censorship. However, in 1981, a general tried, entered the parliament and there was an attempt of coup d'etat. six 
years after Franco's death. And the country was really clueless. What's going on? In uh, nine, uh, 1982, the Socialist, Par the Socialist Party, PSOE, with Felipe González, won the general elections and became the prime minister. Again, after 35 years, there were, uh, uh, the government was in, con uh, in control of a party from the left. However, and in 1996, Spain became part of the European Union. We tried during Franco times, Franco's time to join the European Union, but they reject Spain. However, the economy was not very good. In uh, 1890, sorry, 1980, 14 of unemployment, and in 1985, 21.1% of unemployment. During the, Grand Depression, the Great Depression, you didn't reach more than 20%, I believe, in this country. So, that means you have all these young population who could not work, who were trying to find their space. They did not want to have any connection uh, with the past, and they wanted to have fun because during 30, uh, more than 34 years, Spain was a boring country. Okay, and. Uh, Basically, the young people react in two ways. They got politically involved, people uh, pro-government, against government, or just some people turned their back on politics. They didn't want to have any connection with that, they just wanted to have fun. So, and Madrid was the place to be. Why Madrid? Well, Madrid was the, it was, it's a very open uh, city, People from all over Spain go there. Nobody asks you where you're from. It's a very friendly city. Okay? And these are some of the sentences that connect uh, Madrid to um, La Movida. Las noches eran muy cortas, pero también muy intensas. So nights were, very, were shorter, but more intense. Means people were just partying. The Madrid al cielo, once you see Madrid, heavens is the next best thing to be. In Madrid me mata, Madrid kills me because it's just people were, were party animals. So, uh, within Madrid there were several points where la movida took place. And one of these is Malasaña. Malasaña is still a very... Um, fashionable and trendy place to be. And the, this is Malasaña today. Imagine 34 years ago. Everything was possible. 
And people also went to El Rastro. Rastro is a big flea market. Why Rastro? Because these people wanted to reinvent themselves. They were poor, they were very creative, and they need to find new wardrobe. So they went there and I started buying weird things from the 50s, 40s, and uh, to find their identity. And this is uh, some uh, uh, um, images from the... Peña de Francia, las Amazonas, son parte de la historia. So these are people from the 70s in Spain, in Madrid. You can see some characters you don't see anymore in Spain. De oficios e industrias artesanales, fabricantes de odres, zapatos, turrones y toda suerte de objetos apañados en cueros y pellejos se asentaron desde entonces en la ribera de curtidores, principal arteria hoy del popular mercadillo de ocasión. So there you have the housewife trying to find a new key for the door, and then all these new young who are trying, young people who are trying to find. Jackets from the 50s or hats from the 40s. So, um, what is okay? So, this suddenly from uh, here we move into here. Can you see? And this is a matter of five years how people change, how Jews uh, change. So, this was also the time where in Europe or in the world, the punk music was very popular. You have also people like David Bowie, like uh, people like Boy George. So these, are the, these people were trying to um, keep their identity, but also get uh, influences from abroad. So La Movida was born. These are uh, some of the music, musicians for the, from the time. And these are more extreme, can you see? By the way, this is Pedro Almodovar. I don't know if you have seen uh, some of the movies, uh, but uh, he was one of the main characters of the um, Movida, and this is Alaska. Alaska has been in many uh, pop uh, bands and it was, she was essential to understand La Movida. And this is extreme, of course, okay? So, this is the, the fashion of the time as well. This is an umbrella, I don't know if you see that. And this is dead uh, bullfighters. You have a bullfighter carrying a ship. And La Movida was, after all, what they were looking for was escapism. They didn't like reality, and they had to reinvent their own reality. The reality include pleasure, hedonism. These people want to have a good time, and that included sex, drugs. And you, don't, you have to remember, this is the time when AIDS was a major uh, problem in the whole world. And when I say drugs, I don't say joint. I say heroin and cocaine. In fact, in Spain, the percentage of people consuming heroin in Spain was among the highest in Europe. Also, the subversion of taboos, taboos related with sexuality, androgenic uh, looks, uh, then uh, the role of women and the role of men in the, the society, and then religion. And they, as I mentioned before, they received influences from USA and uh, UK. And you have the pop music, techno pop, new wave, glam rock, and this is the time where men start wearing makeup, and that was the time where young people start piercing their bodies. Before, it was absolutely unknown in Spain, unthinkable. So, to understand La Movida, I have here uh, some uh, important words. Of course, you have ir de, ir de Movida, which means go out to party. 
colega, which is not colleague, but something like dude. It was the equivalent. Colocarse, which uh, means to get a stone. Dabuten means super great. Flipar is flip out, basically. Porro is the join. Chocolate, you have learned that as chocolate, but means hashish. When you go to Europe, you don't see uh, marijuana, you see hashish. Then subida, subida is uh, high after con uh, drug consumption. Yonki, of course, is a yonki, especially uh, a drug addict that consumes heroin. El mono is basically to be to the withdrawal symptoms when you, after all the happy time has passed, start, start a loro to pay attention. Pasar, and this is a very important concept, pasar to me means to turn your back on something. I couldn't care less. And this is the generation of pasotas. People who didn't care what's going on. They just wanted to have fun. And, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, pasota. So when we talk about the movida, there are um, the peculiarity of movida versus uh, uh, other cultural movements. La movida was not in, uh, was out of academia, out of intellectual uh, circles, out of university. It was a pop culture movement. Regular people who may pe regular people who may be mechanics during the week, people who were maybe um, sec uh, secretaries. Uh, I know Almodovar worked at the Telefonica, the, uh, the phone company, fixing phones, I believe. Then uh, these are the type of people. So people during the weekends they reinvent themselves, and uh, the um, result of that was a very peculiar music, movies, television, photography, painting, graffiti, literature, and fashion. But especially music and movies. Okay. Some of the groups, the best of some of them, they were really bad because there were three guys from the neighborhood with a guitar that they bought in the flea market who barely knew how to play, but they had beautiful band band's name like Caca de Luxe, Poop of Luxury, okay? Like Alaska los Pegamoides, Paraíso, Los Secretos, Ejecutivos Agresivos. Los Elegantes, Parálisis Permanente, Derribos Arias, Demolition Arias, I like that very much, Gabinete Caligari, I don't know if you know, this is an old movie, it's a black and white with no sound, it's an old movie. Los Monaguillos, okay, no Monaguillos, Monaguillos, the altar boys, Siniestro Total, Loquillo y los Trogloditas, by the way, Loquillo, if I am, it was a cartoon. Was Goody, Good Pecker? The guy was very tall and move weird, and that's the reason uh, they became Loquillo. Hombres G, G men, of course. Many of these things also were related with toys they were playing with when they were young. Uh, Mecano, Mecano is a kind of thing to be uh, for. Do you know Mecano? Mecano is, is, is um, a toy to build, like a typical guy uh, toy to build things, okay? Golpes bajos, etc. So here we, I am, uh, and this, that takes you to this, uh, the photocopy I gave you. These people, their lyrics were extremely interesting. Not only their aesthetic, but their uh, their lyrics and we are going to uh, uh, listen bailando dancing of course these people want to party and this is the lyrics uh, and the lyrics you have here okay dancing i spend uh, the whole day dancing meanwhile the neighbors uh, <laughs> complaining 
uh, and they are bothering me non-stop. Drinking, I spell the whole day. Drinking, shaking the cocktail shaker full of soda and martini. All my, bo all my bones are dislocated. My femur is very dislocated. My body is hurting, but I have a great social life. Dance all day, with or without company, I move my leg, I move my foot, I move my wishbone, I move my fibula, I move my head, I move my st uh, sternum. I have my hip, uh, I, in my, I move my hips whenever I have occasion. All my bones are dislocated. Oh, my femur is dislocated, my body is hurting, but I have a great social life. Okay? You can sing if you want. And he said, who cares? Um, okay. Mm, people point me out with their fingers and they whisper, whisper behind my back. My back, I couldn't care less. I'm different from them. I belong to no one. I do have no master. I know they criticize me. I know they hate me. They are eaten up by envy. They are shocked. Why is this? It is not my fault. My life shocks them. I am in charge of my own life. Whatever, what, whatever I, I want to do, who cares what I do? Who cares what I say? I am like this. I will continue being like this. I will never, ne I will never change. Maybe my fault because I don't follow rules. It is too late to change. I will maintain my convic convictions and I will reinforce my position. Remember what we say before the angel of the house? That, was, that went opposite, the other way, okay? And this is the lady dancing that and singing that.
actually the beginning of the Movida. Uh, this is Almodovar, who is the movie director, and McNamara, two guys, dress, uh, cross-dressing, singing, I am going to be a mummy. dress the baby as a woman, I am going to show him to play with, uh, girl, with uh, girl toys, etc. Okay? So it was breaking the role, the sexuality and the roles of men and women were non-existent there. And then another, another this is um, uh, song number three, which is Mecano, this is techno pop. And this says, hoy no me puedo levantar, I cannot get out uh, of, of my bed today. The weekend wore me out. I did not sleep all night, drinking, smoking, and laughing. Today I cannot get out of my bed. I don't know what I'm going to do. My legs and arms uh, hurt. My eyes and hands hurt. Today I cannot concentrate. My head is going to explode. It is a champagne hangover. Bubbles that raise and then gone away. Today, I can get, uh, I cannot get out of bed because I cannot walk. I have to go to work, but I don't want to. My legs and arms hurt. My eyes and, and my hand hurt. Okay. Hopefully that will work. Dedicado a todos vosotros, a Josep Simón, a Puti, a Tony, a Igor, a Guille y al maestro Jaime Sintos.
song is Little Red Hood and it's making fun of the fairy tale, okay? Hello! Oh my amor, eu sou de amor E não tem muito cerca para o item melhor Oh my amor, sou de outro lobo E não tem muito cerca para ver o item melhor Oh my amor, eu sou de lobo Que não tem muito cerca para o item melhor Oh my amor, sou de outro lobo Que não tem muito cerca para ver o item melhor Se com tus garras me quiseras para... Basically the guy is saying Hello, I am the wolf And um... I want to love you, okay? This is, they are making fun. Uh, and then we go to movies. Um, this is part of Labirinto de Pasiones. Even though you don't understand, you will understand. I'm sorry, the subtitles are in Greek, but I couldn't find any other. So basically the guy is saying, I'm sorry, I'm so boring. I have no drugs, I have no alcohol, I have no girlfriend, what am I going to do? Sin dinero, nena, no coche, no chica, no tate, no vicio, no rimel. Estoy histérica. Patti Difusa, la famosa estrella internacional del porno, nos habla de los hombres. Voy a sniffar un poquito. So, as you can see, the plot is an, uh, an, inf an, an infomionic uh, por porn star who falls in love with a guy in Middle Eastern Prince. Their unlucky destiny is, so, is to find uh, one another overcome their sexual preferences and live happily ever after on a, a tropical island. So it's, it's okay. This is another one, and um, este es que hecho yo para merecer esto. What I have done to, what I have done to deserve that. Here explodes, explode, explode the idea of housewife abuse. It's a poor middle, a poor middle, uh, middle class, and. Um, they, they are not really in love, and then there is a cold girl, etc. You can see also. After witnesses the sudden death of her boyfriend uh, because of overdose, they decides to recover some time reflecting on the supposed peace of a particular convent. And these are the nuns. <laughs> Photography and painting, these people have no money, but they had creativity. That was essential. Uh, li um, literature and uh, comics, comics was essential part of uh, their culture. These are some of the covers of the magazines. 
and fashion. So here you have a piano, lipsticks, an umbrella, a cake. So, and uh, however, at the end, in La Movida, some people paid a very high price. And this, this song, I don't have the lyrics, it is called Prin Princesa, Princess. The guy singing to a girl who two years ago was on top and after uh, uh, consuming uh, drugs, she's just a junkie and she, he has to pay bail for her and she's going to die pretty soon. And uh, this is it. I hope you enjoyed. So it says, uh, uh, between cirrhosis and overdoses, you are there, princess. Yeah? Who's your favorite soccer team? My soccer team? I don't like soccer, I'm sorry. <laughs> There, which one? Yeah. Oh yeah, these, these songs are still very popular. If you are invited to a wedding or something, or you go to bars, they are still sing, uh, playing these uh, songs. Like bailando, yeah. I spend the whole day dancing. I move my feet, I move my leg, yeah.